what kind of hostess gift do you take to someone's house over the holidays? Erin's back now with ways to take it up a notch. So we're not just going to do the everyday, ordinary nah, bottle of wine. upgrade it. Even though I told them, if you want to get me a bottle of wine, still just get me the wine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm always down with I'm wine. I'm always okay with that. But right. why don't you uh, up the ante a little Listen, bit people show up with beer. Now craft beer is a big thing. Yep. But rather than just showing up with a couple of bottles, yes. the nicer thing to do Ooh. is actually to show up with a beer carrying crate. That's beautiful. So, you know what? The idea is you show up with this. It has a bottle opener on the front. Nice. And then you can ask your friends to come to your place the next time with it filled. Oh, so it becomes yeah. a back and forth way to share yes. your craft beer addiction, as mine is. This is, I found this at HomeSense, actually. It's a oh, fantastic lovely. little guy. Yeah, yeah. It looks so, vintage. It's, it, it adds does. that little extra thing, and you're giving them, you're going to drink all the beer, obviously. So of it gives course. them something to uh, to keep for themselves. And do make sure the beer is chilled as yes. well before you show I up. I thought you were going to say cheap. No! <laughs> <laughs> A cheap date, though, honestly. <laughs> All right, next one up. You're always on my list. If you if you bring a gift over for the dogs or cats, oh, well, that's dogs true. for us, that's dog lovely. for you. Yes. Um, so rather than just showing up with a random package of, of dog Doggy treats, cookies. then to think of a couple of extra ones, and then also a Aww. super cute. Here comes Santa Paws. A super cute cookie jar that's as really well. Nice. It's a great idea. Again, found these at Home Sense. Just really, really fun. Yes. Always lots of choices as well. Fill it up with the doggy biscuits, and they will love you for life. Sure. And then something sparkling is always a good idea. Yes. So just again, a single bottle, lovely, but come on, let's think outside the box here. I lift Ooh. that up carefully. So instead of that, just think of bringing two flutes. These could be vintage ones. Yeah. And then, you know what makes a great little individual ice cream bucket? Just a planter. So oh, found this great yes. gold planter, a perfect yeah. little ice, ice bucket. That's lovely. There we go. And then you got a lovely gift. I do. Very nice. So think about it. You could have actually found a pair at a flea market yes. or a garage sale, exactly. like something that's got a little story to mm -hmm. it. And I like the, f the idea of using a planter because um, they're they're more inexpensive, and you get a Absolutely. lot of different variety there. Sure. In terms and they're of perfectly style. for perfect for one bottle. Very nice. All right, next up. You can candles. come over any time, by oh, the way. Go. That's good to know. Just bring that. Candles are always a good uh, good treat to bring. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves a candle. You can never yes. have enough. But instead of just bringing a candle, is to think about bringing a candle accessory. Kit. Oh, well, excuse me. So, what accessories the, do we need with you, the candle? You need a proper candle snuffed up. Oh, yes. And you need a wick trimmer. Right. And you need a wick dipper as well, which is another way to oh. put a candle out. So all of these things will okay. make sure that the candle lasts longer yeah. and also stop smoking candles, that yes. kind of thing. And you can find all of these, a great selection of candles and all of the candle accessory packs at Amazon. Nice. It's one there little extra thing that shows that you put some thought into it. For I sure. That's lovely. One of the best, worst gifts to bring is flowers. I know. It's so lovely, but then you've got to oh, stop everything you're doing. You've got to cut the ends. You've got to put them in exactly. a vase. This Let's is a lovely idea. instead to a planter filled with fresh succulents. So Very easy nice. to take care of. Yeah. You show up, they go on a, on a shelf right away. You're not going to have any problems with that at all. This is really lovely. It's going to last go. a lot longer than the flowers, too. My husband's a teacher, so he gets lots of mugs. Lots of mugs. So what let's just make that a bit mugs? more fun. Um, so a really fantastic mug from EQ3. Mm -hmm. And then a, some legal drug coffee. So high caffeinated <laughs> coffee, <laughs> which I found on Amazon. They've got lots of different choices. That's great. Um, and then a canister uh, from Ikea, a great scoop from EQ3. Ooh, packaged up in this great uh, container that I found at EQ3 too. I think that is lovely. Very nice gift. And then last but not least, rather than a generic maple syrup, yep. is to think outside the box and do something a little bit more special. So these are really lovely Quebecois maple syrups oh, nice. from uh, Fabric 1840, um, which is, as part of Simon's, a great uh, way of looking lovely. at Canadian crafts. Yeah. So these are award-winning. So to go from generic to award-winning, mm -hmm. and then put it in, all into a great basket that I found at Ikea with a little ladle um, and some napkins. That's but nice. these are actually tea towels, but they make perfect napkins. So yes. just another way to kind of put a package together that means is perfect for brunch. These are really good host hostess gifts. Thank you so much.